We seek an army. Let's begin painting the Black Sun Enforcers. If you have two different units, you can paint them different colors to differentiate them. I'm going to paint this unit a darker red with some highlights in there instead of the purple as you see on the box art. And I think it'll go really well if I ever decide to you know, use purple or whoever wins this army. You know, if they want to paint the purple on the box art, they'll be able to differentiate between these two units very easily. Let's go ahead and grab our wet palette here. And we're going to use some corn red. Move these out of the way for a moment. So I'll use some of this corn red here and do some highlights. If you saw my previous video with Maul, this is what my wet palette looks like afterwards. It's all his different colors. So as you can see, you know, that came out really well utilizing just a small amount of colors. Let's begin. Now you can just apply this very sloppily, it doesn't really matter. By all means take your time. We're going to be applying multiple coats of different highlights when we're done. These models are really big compared to some of the other Legion models. If you put them next to Wookiees, they stand toe to toe with them as far as height goes. Pretty interesting. I think they're pretty big on the show as well, but interesting to see the differences there. Alright, we got our base coat done of the red, the darker red, so we'll let that dry and come back. We'll do a time lapse with the other models. get the eyes done and then we'll do the skin color after that. We're going to just grab some of our white scar, some of our dawn stone, mix it up into a light white or light gray and just like with our other models in the mall just go ahead and get the entire eye socket and the other side. We're gonna let that completely dry and we'll come back and touch it up. Now 
Let's use our Abaddon Black. Get some of the pupils on. Grab your small brush. Just barely put some on that tip of it. Let's grab our main guy here. We just want to make some eye slits. like that and the other side try to match it up like that so you want to make sure equal distance between it looks really bad right now we're going to touch it up and it'll be a lot better let's get the other guy all right now that the eyes have a time to dry this is what they look like. Very sloppy, messy. That's okay. We're gonna move on and do the skin. I kinda like this lighter greenish color. We're gonna do a moot green. Go ahead and put that on your palette. Let's grab our guy here and see what it looks like on his hand. Now just remember to uh, wet down your paints. You can always do another layer if you need to, especially if you're going to be covering this on a black prime. Just like that. Might be a little little bright, but you can always darken it down. And it's still gonna dry probably a little darker, so that's okay. We can get his claws too. Just want to get his whole hand. And it can be a little messy if you get on the gun at all. We'll go back over that, of course. You just kind of want to see what this color will look like on the model. Okay. Let's get his face now. Okay, so, looks like it's gonna be all the down here. I have to say, I've never painted a green skin color before, so this will be interesting. Go ahead and move to a smaller brush to get it in around the eyes. And like always, I forgot to start the timer. So we'll let that go for a couple minutes there to come back. Just got my smaller brush. Let's continue on.
as you, as you can see already, that side of the face is already looking really good. Just goes to show you, doing those eyes and pupils first, even if they're you know, annoying to do, that's just the easiest way to get it out of the way. And I'll just reiterate, you know, I am not a professional when it comes to painting faces. Just want to show you how you can do it yourself and kind of attack it at an angle where it's not as intimidating. So please feel free to spend more time on it, do it different ways, let me know. Maybe I can try it a different way as well. Okay, there you go. Need a little work on the right side of the pupil a little bit. We can get that just right now. All right, grab your black here. And if we need to re-go over the green we, again, we can. Gonna try and touch it up a little bit just like that. I went out of the lines and we'll come back with the green. Wash our brush off. And let's get our green. I do agree that this is pretty bright green. We can uh, you know darken it up a little bit as we go on. I just covering up the area I got his eye. There you go, that looks pretty cool. Nice and straight. Looks good. Very happy with that. Let's get a little bit more of his head here. look at the up angle of these eyes and I need to get a little bit more on the right There we go. It's much better. Okay. 
Let's wash that brush and get a larger one to do the back. All the artwork on the box and everything does not include this part, so I had to look it up online. And definitely this is part of their body. Skin color, I guess. Pretty cool, actually. Boy, they're sharp. And like always, it's okay if you get on the black part. I'm just going to try and get this all together and then go more careful on those clothes. Okay, that finish, finishes Hulk, I mean Black Sun. Definitely going to tame the green down a little bit. Let that clock catch up. And again, I'm not trying to speed paint, I'm just showing you how long it can take. Let's do a time lapse of the other skin colors of the guys. After finishing painting, this is what they look like here. Pretty cool looking. Now if we want to make the skin color a little bit more teal, grab a Temple Guard blue. Any kind of blue will do. Let's mix up our paints a little bit. I drag some of this in over here. It's a nice color we're looking for. We can kind of do some highlighting with this color here. Keep that other green underneath. You can even darken it up if we want a little bit. Let's start with that there. All right, so we'll start this up. Let's grab our guy here with his face and get some of that green in here. Go right to the top of the head. Just kind of apply it everywhere a little bit like this. And as you can see, it'll start to blend in when it dries. We just kind of want to get the kind of the entire face a little bit. We'll come back through with some more. That looks good there. Really starts to change as you can see. It's really cool. Just kind of get the areas here. A little bit of his back. Now let's move on to a little brighter of a blue. And kind of do the same thing, but just keeping near the top. Up here. And his nose and his face. <laughs> and some of this area is there. Okay. Get a little bit lighter of a blue mixed in. As you can see when it's dried here, it's pretty cool. It really gets that details out. Now we just kind of want to go on the very edges here. With our blue. Little goes a long ways here. Just to get that extra 
color on his face. You know, it's really the same types of techniques you apply to, you know, any skin color. Just, this one happens to be blue and green. Gonna get this highlighted over here a little bit. And back here in that jawline. And over here as well. Using my side of my brush. Get those edges. Okay. It's really cool looking. Now if you get a little too much and you can come back in here with some of the green and lighten it up a little bit. Get his fist here, just on the top. Kind of get some of that teal color in. Another option, if you don't want to do all the shading, you know, after you put this lighter green on, you know, you can get, get a blue wash, and I'll make it a little teal. Raising in the edges would be really cool to do as well. Another option. As you can see, we're kind of getting the areas here, making it stand out. Really like where it's going right now. Let's get a little bit of his spikes on his back. I don't want to overdo it back here, but just kind of show different light reflections going on, skin tones. Gonna give it some different color palette. Okay, just like that. Really happy where this is. Let's move on to the rest of the models. Let's take a look here. So here's our main guy. Here you can see the different highlights really make the model pop in the back here as well as hands. So I'm really happy with the skin tone and the color where it's at. Again, you can spend more time if you like or less. And I really highlight the top of the head too. Kind of gives it that skin color tone that we like shadows same with this guy here kind of highlighted his face here really like how it's turned out in his hands and on his back as well just this whole area here i feel like it's very nicely transitioned as well got all kinds of different greens and blues on his face so yeah, both of them together look really cool. And it's not as Hulk looking, that nice bright green. And then these guys as well, the front and back. Anyways, that finishes our skin colors. Let's move on to the next step. Just wanted to show you the different blues and greens I've mixed up. It's always nice to look at your wet palette after. Remember it if you ever have to do it again. Let's go ahead and move on to doing some different reds. And start our timer. Let's choose. Let's choose this guy. So use your wet palette and kind of mix in some of the lighter red with your darker red. If 
you don't have it already, you can put some Mephiston Red on your wet palette. And I'm gonna just work on the tops of the shoulder pads here. You don't have to cover the whole thing, but just a little bit. Now it looks quite different when it's wet like this, but when it dries, it'll be a lot better. So just apply some there on top. Get some more and apply it on the wrists and sh shoulder area here. And same thing over here. And maybe a little bit down here. And on the back side here. You can use your edge of the brush. Kind of get some of these raised areas of the cloth. Now as that's drying, you can see it is a good transition. Let's step up and maybe just go straight to corn red in your mix. Come back up to the shoulders and do just a little bit. Very top. And over here. Maybe a little darker down here. Smooth those transitions in. Don't have to spend a lot of time. Use some Evil Sun Scarlet, some of that lightest red you can. And then go back into the shoulders a little bit and just highlight the very top edge. This is just to give some different textures here. Smooth the darker color red and blend in your lighter one a little bit. Smooth that transition out. Give it time to dry. As it'll still be wet looking. Okay, really happy where this is at right now. Let's move on and do the rest of the unit using the same technique.
finishing our red highlights here. They look pretty cool. We're now going to do some Averland Sunset and get some of this yellow on. Set our timer here and apply it with a brush. Let's start with this guy here. Might have to have a couple of the coats, but that's okay. Just use the edge of your brush and go around. We'll come back up with the black and touch it up. This really starts to bring the model together. Pretty cool. Now this guy's wrist guards are yellow. You want to be careful when you get to the hands since we've already done those highlights. And the red as well. Pretty cool looking. And this guy's boots as well all, are all pretty much yellow. So let's add that on here.
and he's got a couple little spots on his belt here. That you can highlight. And these pistols here, they all have some highlight just right here. Okay, I got my base yellow done. It's messy, but that's what we like. Go ahead and do this to the rest of the models. After finish painting these, I was pretty messy with the yellow. I got into the places I want. I'm gonna go back around now and touch up with our black and any red or yellow that we need. And then we'll move on to other steps. As you can see, I was pretty messy with some of the helmets and that's okay. They're really starting to show, you know, our colors that we wanted. I forgot to do the timer during the time lapse, so I started it in the middle of it. So I probably have an extra like 15, 20 minutes, but I'll add that on at the very end. Let's go ahead and use some of our black and just do some touch-up work here. After going back over the touch-ups with the black, yellow, and red, they're in a position where I want to move forward. Doing some highlights with the yellow now. We are almost done with the models. And no, I did not reset the timer, just after 90 minutes it goes back to zero and starts again so we're gonna use some Gehenna's gold and apply it to some of the models yellow areas for some highlights so let's go ahead and grab a brush I'm gonna stick it next to my yellow on my wet palette here and kind of mix these in together. Let's start with this guy here. Seeing as he has the best yellow here. Let's start here at the 
था Now I applied the yellow underneath so you know we didn't have such a black base coat makes it easier for this to pop through it just requires a little bit really starts to shine through Put the other side here This gold kind of has some red in it. So it's gonna go really nicely with our red that we've chosen. Looks really great. Go ahead and apply it to his crest here. That's why I wasn't worried too much about getting a good coat of yellow on. It can be kind of splotchy because this is going to fill in all those areas anyways. Now if you want the back to look a little darker, mix in some of your black. Pretty cool. And if you wanted a little darker, you know, back here, mixing some more black, kind of get some of the darkness back in here. If you want a little bit. in the crevices. Okay. And we can kind of grab the front of his robe here, if you'd like, and just use the side of your brush very gently. Doesn't have to be everywhere, but kind of help fill in where the yellow is missing. There's some little strings inside here. Very cool. Boy, that really brings them all together. All right, let's go ahead and apply this technique to the rest of the models.
All right, after applying that, we're gonna use some dryad bark and apply it on the belt. Really just brings them all together there. Go ahead and apply the brown to the rest of the belts. We're going to use a little bit of the Zandri dust color. and work on his boots where I didn't put the gold color. I just color it in right in here. Kind of match the box art. You don't have to, but thought it looked cool. Kind of gives some separation from the gold. And then right here on the front of the boot. That looks pretty cool. To the other side here. Okay, we're using that yellow undercoat. We don't have to put as many coats on. And, you know, just like that. It's pretty simple and easy. We're gonna use our Xandri dust. Get your small brush. We're gonna paint a little bit of the nails and claws and the figures here.
Don't forget to start the timer again. Okay. After it's done, now we're going to use Xander Dust as well and paint the bases. So we'll do one and go to a time lapse after that. Make sure and water it down a little bit more than your usual just to get it into these cracks. Just like we did with Maul. And if you get it on the boots, that's okay. I'm going to come back over it anyways with maybe some dusting, dry brushing. And if not, you know, it's just a black color, so we'll just paint right over it if you, know, you don't want to have it. If you want to have a clean look versus, you know, dusting. We'll go through the other bases. After letting that dry, we're going to do our Agrax Earthshade Wash. Go ahead and open that up. Let's get our model here. Put a nice thick coat on. Just let it go everywhere. Just like that, and then we'll do a time lapse and get the others. After letting the wash dry. I'm going to move on to some dry brushing. Grab your white scar and some paper towel and a nice stiff brush. And you want to wipe it off clean until it's not coming off any longer. You can always apply more. I'm going to grab this guy here, start our timer. I'm just going to grab some of the, the bombs on here. Just kind of lightly brush it on so they kind of stand out a little bit more. And on his hand here. And then his weapon, just a little bit.
I'm gonna get a little bit on his helmet here. Get some of those ranged edges. Just like that. And if you'd like, get a little bit more on the bombs here and some of the belt it comes with. Trying to avoid the gold as much as possible and just getting the edges of the helmet. That brings us some character. Now as you can see on here I got some of the white on the model here with the red. That's just some of the, the dust. You can brush that off with a clean dry brush. Remove all that pigment where you don't want it. Okay. Now I got his gun highlighted. Some of his helmet here and his grenades we're going to move on to the rest of the unit do a time lapse i'm uh, avoiding his feet i'm going to keep those black Zandri dust again and do some dry brushing with this just after you do your white because you want a nice dry brush I'm gonna dab that in there go back to your same paper towel and brush off as much excess as you can you don't want to overdo this part and you don't have to do this but we're just going to come in here on his legs a little bit Give him a little dry brush here. And really start to have the model pop out a little bit. We'll do that to the rest of the models. After finishing our dry brushing, let's go ahead and finish up the edges of our base. So we'll grab a nice long brush that you've been using and we will apply a nice black on the edge and like I've stated previously you're more than welcome to do you know uh, same color as your base Zandri dust but I've always liked having black around the rim let's go ahead and apply this to your wet palette And let's do our last step here. Make sure your hands are all dust free as we're gonna be grabbing the edges of our model. And just use the edge of your brush. And keep going back and forth like this.
Now you guys can spend more time with these models, adding more highlights, more facial highlights. And I've spent probably almost three hours, if you count all the times I've stopped the clock accidentally. And as of now, as it's not going. So it goes up to 90 minutes each. So, yeah, so about three hours for this unit. Probably a little bit more time than I wanted to, but you know, I spent more time doing some extra details. Not really a speed painting video, but just to show you what goes into painting it, something like this. All right, finishes up the rim. We'll go ahead and do the rest of the unit. This finishes the Black Sun. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. Thank you so much again for all the support and subscribers. Let me know below what you'd like to see. We're gonna finish painting the Shadow Collective forces. Give those away in a giveaway. We're gonna also continue to paint the Imperial forces that we've started as well, that second army. Stay tuned. Have a good day. We are the Black Sun.